So the title for today's lesson is Taking Aim, Giving Your Math Exploration Direction by Giving It an Aim. So in this lesson, I'm essentially going to be talking about what an aim is um, and, and why and how it's important uh, in the development of your math IA, your math exploration. Uh, so the first question, of course, is, is so what is an aim? Uh, so in your math exploration, an aim is going to be a sentence or two that is explicitly stated and then described somewhere near the beginning of your work. Um, so just to be clear, this idea that it's explicitly stated is, is important. Um, I really feel like it, it's valuable that you have, um, like somewhere in the beginning of your introduction, somewhere in the beginning of your paper, where it says, my aim in this exploration is blah, and, and you really come out with that and make it clear for the reader. Um, because your aim essentially tells the reader what it is that you intend to accomplish through your exploration. You're sort of telling them from the beginning, hey, this is what I'm planning to do. Um, the initial statement of your aim should be something that's brief, but clearly stated. So your aim should not go on for a paragraph or two. Like your aim itself should be one or two sentences. Um, with that said, you generally follow that initial statement up with some sort of a description of the aim. Um, it might include why that's a valuable thing to explore, or what methods you're going to be using. Um, if there's any terms in your aim that might be unclear to people, you could define what those are. But the aim itself is generally going to be fairly short. Um, so after talking about what an aim is, I did want to take a moment to talk about what an aim isn't. Okay. So first, an aim is not a topic. Okay? Your aim needs to be more than just a topic. So it's not enough to say like, oh, my aim in this paper is calculus. Like, okay, cool. calculus is neat. You might want to learn about it, but it's not an aim. That, that's a topic. That's an area of mathematics. Um, second, an aim isn't necessarily a question. An aim can be stated as a question, but it doesn't have to be stated as a question. So if you want, your aim could be something like, um, what is the most efficient way to do such and such a thing? Um, but your aim could also be, I aim to explore this concept, this area of mathematics. Um, you know, I want to understand better how such and such a thing has an effect on this. So it doesn't have to be framed as a question. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention here is the idea of a thesis statement. Um, lots of times, I think when you guys have written more extended papers, you might have been asked to, to include a thesis statement. My understanding is that a thesis statement is basically a contentious statement that you plan to address in a research paper. So you're going to sort of like take a stance and then um, draw a conclusion about that. Um, similar to a question, a, a thesis statement could be an aim, but an aim doesn't have to be framed that way. Um, it does not need to be that. It's almost like in a thesis statement, you've done a bunch of research and you found out the, the thing that you want to show or prove, and then your paper's about that. Um, you don't necessarily need to know what the answer to your aim is before you start writing your paper. It's a good idea to have done a lot of the research, but that doesn't need to show up in your aim. Um, so the next thing I want to do is, is kind of go through a couple of... of bad examples and turn them into good examples. Um, so the first one, um, is the idea, the Pythagorean theorem, a good aim? You can probably tell from my tone, but no, it's, it, it's not even a name. Um, it's a topic in mathematics. So not only is it not a good aim, it's not even a name. It's just a topic. If you wanted to do an exploration about this topic, you would need to find some specific aim about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and display a few aims that you could write about the Pythagorean theorem. Um, if you have any ideas, feel free to write them in your notes and I'll, I'll do my best to sort of comment on, on why they might be a good or not quite so good aim. Um, so one, an aim could be in this exploration, I aim to investigate how this theorem was originally proven. So this paper might be a little bit about the history of mathematics, about how math was done um, in the time of the Greeks, um, and looking at how, <clears throat> how the theorem might have been proven then. Another potential aim, the aim of this exploration is to better understand Pythagorean triples and determine how many Pythagorean triples there are. Um, Pythagorean triples, in case you don't know, are uh, basically whole number triplets um, that meet the Pythagorean theorem. So for instance, 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 25, which is 5 squared. 
Um, so this could be an aim. Um, a third one. In this exploration, I aim to answer the question, can the Pythagorean theorem be used to compute diagonals of 3D shapes? Um, so I, I hope that through these three examples, you see that the Pythagorean theorem is a neat topic. There's a lot that you could do there, but an aim is a, a precisely defined sentence or two that really goes into what it is that you're planning to do and explore in your paper. So here's another example for us, right? What about is finding probabilities, I'm sorry, is finding probabilities in video games a good aim? pause and think for a moment like is this an aim is this an aim is this a good aim would this work um so i'll be honest it, it's slightly better than the last one um it identifies an area of math probability yay um and it tries to connect it to a real world application video games but it still doesn't really tell the reader what you intend to do um like if you started a paper and said like oh i'm planning to find probabilities in my video game it's like, what, what, what kind of probabilities? What are you going to do with them? What's the purpose? Why are we doing this thing? What methods are you going to use to carry this thing out? There, this, this sentence fragment asks more questions than it answers. Um, just like I did in the previous one, I'll go ahead and give a couple of ideas um, of ways that you could turn this idea into a better aim. Um, and these might be a little bit weirder than the Pythagorean Theorem one was because there's a lot of different kinds of video games, and I'm trying to kind of talk about them in general. So one of them, um, in this exploration, I aim to use probability to analyze how long it will take for me to have an 80% or better chance of obtaining a rare item. So maybe you're playing a game where you've got to like work through a dungeon or something, and at the end, like you did the, the boss drops an item, and there's a chance that it'll be something. So you'd be looking not just at... Um, the probability of the thing dropping, but also how long does it take you to get to that point? Um, another example, um, I've chosen not to spend any money on in-app purchases in a game that I play. Okay, fair enough. We make choices. Um, in this exploration, I aim to find the largest amount of in-game currency I can accumulate and the highest probability chance I can get to obtain a special item I want. Okay, sounds good. Again, you, you might want to you need to describe this more, you know, to put in some of the context of your game. Um, but this certainly works well as an aim for an exploration. Um, you're sort of defining specifically what you want to look at. You're talking about a specific probability. And there's a reason for the exploration. Okay? Um, so at, at this point, you know, and, and I could talk a lot more about these things, but... Um, I think it can be helpful for you to, to think of ideas in your own or hear the ideas of others um, or get feedback on your ideas or hear the feedback given to others. Um, so the assignment for this weekend is essentially to try and write an aim that you would be interested in trying to address in a math exploration. Um, and I want to remind you, it's, it's okay if the first aim or two or five that you write aren't great. It's okay if when you submit them, the feedback that I have is more, mm, we still need more work on this. This is not an easy thing to do. Um, and so just, you know, when you write these things, you know, take a deep breath um, and sort of be ready um, to need to make changes and to make this a growing process. A few things that your response should have. First of all, your response, your, your assignment, your turning in of this aim, it should first have a statement of the aim. Um, we're probably going to need to tweak that, um, and that aim could change over time. You might get a few pages in and go like, ooh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I, I, I want to tighten this up. I want to just do part of this. Okay, cool. We can go back and change the aim and make it address only part of what we do. But we got to start somewhere. Um, the second thing... Um, Please let me know the math that you think that you're going to use or that you're planning to use. It's important for you to have some sense of what math you think you'll use and how you're going to use it so that you've got some sense of how you're going to address this aim that you have. Um, the third thing that's valuable to have is a rationale for your aim. And a rationale is basically what's a reason that you want to explore this? It's kind of okay if you're the only person that wants to hear the answer to this question. Like, you don't need to address, like, why the world is a better place because you're addressing. Like, it doesn't need to be huge and meaningful. Um, but it is valuable for you to have a reason that you are interested in exploring this thing. Um, it's important to note that writing math is not easy. Um, you know, this is going to be something, particularly when you write your real IA, it's going to take time to do this. Um, 
maybe not as much time as your extended essay, um, but it's still a good chunk of time. So it's best that you choose something that you're motivated to write about so that you can really like sustain your energy um, and your desire to do this through the whole process. Um, so I hope that that helps to clarify a little bit of what an aim is um, and what we can do to sort of think up aims and come up with one that's good. Um, and so I wish you best of luck as you try this this weekend. Um, yeah, I, I look forward to reading what you come up with and, and getting you some feedback on that so we can make it a, a good process. So best of luck.